Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all here this evening to this historic Los Caucasian, when the unveiling of this monument is about to take place. This monument is a long time coming. I suppose you could say it goes back to 1951-52, when the local committee decided they would like to put a mark where the famous ambush took place on New Year's night. 1920. New Year's Night, sorry, All Souls Night, 1st of November 1920. That committee was stymied in their efforts on the basis of the N25 here behind me being realigned. And many of that committee waited many long years and some of them have gone to their eternal reward waiting for something to be put here. In 1999, a man called to my door from Ardmore, called Martin Troy. Martin came in, sat down, gave a half an hour talking about the weather and everything else, and eventually said to me, Liam, he said, would you ever try and put together another committee to try and put some mark where the Piltown ambush took place? Because many of the people that were involved have now gone, and many of the committee that were originally put in place have also been have also left us. So I spoke to a couple of locals. One primarily Jimmy Fitzgerald from Upper Pilta up up the up the hill here. And I spoke to other locals who are involved in the various organizations, Sinn Fein, Fina Fall. And they all agreed that we would put together a committee again and an effort to put something in place. We involved ourselves in fundraising in 2002 and 2003 and we amassed the princely sum of 5,000 euros which we thought at the time would be more than enough to put something in place and obviously what you can see here you before, before you today has cost many multiples of 5,000 but we made a decision at the time that we weren't going to script we were going to make sure that what was put in place was going to be there for a very long time. And it's not just a memorial to Piltown Cross, it's going to be a monument, a tourist attraction for many generations to come. I have no doubt that school kids will stop, they will look at it and say we have a heritage, we have something to be proud of. And an awful lot of our ancestors who have died and gone before us and all their families here today will be able to look at pride at this particular monument. So I suppose just mentioning Jimmy Fitzgerald and three other people of that, three other members of that committee that was set up in 2000 have also gone to the reward, to their eternal rewards. Jimmy died a year and a week ago this, to this day. And I've no doubt, knowing Jimmy Fitzgerald, that if he was still with us, we possibly would have a lot, we have been further along the road, we wouldn't have been working until 11 o'clock on, on, on the bank holiday Monday night to try to get this thing ready because Jimmy gave 100% of his time to doing it. I suppose the most important thing about today is that you're all here and that you're all here and proud to be here. And we have a, a, a assembled here today relatives, family and friends of people who are involved in the Piltown ambush. Roger Morrison down there, he proudly wears his Dick Morrison's medals, who was one of the volunteers here. My grand uncles were here, Patsy Veal, Tom Veal. They often spoke about the fact that there was nothing to mark what actually happened here. And I suppose just briefly what happened here was what was happening all over Ireland at the time. We were struggling for freedom and struggling to be an independent nation. Many volunteers, male and female, because we cannot forget the female coming on who gave shelter and fed the local volunteers while they were on the run. All those people must be remembered here today and shall never be forgotten.